Yo, what's going on guys? It's Dave the Rave here and welcome back to the channel. Uh, and welcome to the first um, and hopefully a long series of Dave's Theme Park Fridays. If you need um, to kind of, if you need a little bit of outline of the series and stuff, there'll be a card somewhere, whichever corner it is. Um, so you can go and check out the welcome video where I go into detail and explain what it's all about. So in this first episode of Dave's Theme Park Fridays, we're going to be taking a look at my top 10 uh, soundtracks from theme parks and amusement parks from all around the world. So anyway, let's get on with it. Here's the titles. So at number 10, we have the Runaway Mine Train at Alton Towers. Now the reason I love uh, this soundtrack, personally, obviously, uh, as it's one of my favourites, um, is because it definitely gives up that kind of old classic, kind of western feel, um, especially with the, um, the trumpet that is used um, throughout the, um, the soundtrack. Um, so yeah, um, and it really, and really, um, I really do feel like not only does it fit in with, you know, the, the whole theme of the Runaway Mine Train, but it also fits in with the, the area, um, obviously Katanga Canyon at Alton Towers, uh, and it really doesn't feel out of place. Um, between the, the music used throughout the whole kind of uh, Katanga Canyon area. Um, so, yeah. So, number 10 is Runaway Mine Train soundtrack from Alton Towers. So at number nine, we have the Heritage from Alton Towers. Now, I love this soundtrack um, because I love how they've incorporated kind of the main theme theme of the park, you know, um, in the Hall of the Mountain King. Well, actually, no, main melody, sorry, main melody of the park, which is in the Hall of the Mountain King. And just when you listen to it and you kind of picture the towers and everything like that, you really get a sense of kind of magic. And you kind of get a sense of, you know, these, you know, this building and these buildings have been around for, for ages. And, and because of that, they kind of do have a bit of a, a magical quality to that. I also like uh, that later in the soundtrack, things kind of slow down you know the music kind of slows down and it's kind of like you kind of having that um that contrast between kind of like you're going from ride to ride at the park and then you want to pop into the um into the towers and have a look and then that's where like everything slows down you can really stop and appreciate the um the park the, uh, the, uh, the towers themselves um, and even like down in the gardens I think it would it works quite well if you're going down into the gardens so yeah there you go there's the there's the heritage at Alton Towers at number eight on this list we have the 
uh, old music from the Thorpe Park Resort, the old kind of entrance music. Now, what I love about this um, soundtrack is just um, how big it sounds, you know, how big and bombastic, well I say bombastic, how big and kind of epic it sounds, like pumping you up, hyping you up for your day at Thorpe Park. I especially love, uh, like with um, the Runaway Mine Train, I love the use of brass uh, instruments in this, um, you know, in this soundtrack or in this in this track. Yeah, just so, yeah, this track because um, it really. I mean, again, with the Runaway Mine Train, it gives this kind of a more epic feel um, when you, um, you know, when you listen to it, and it, and it kind of makes you want to go back to Thorpe Park. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. So there you go. There's uh, there's number eight, the old entrance music at the Thorpe Park Resort. At number seven, then we have Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Now, Icon's soundtrack is... Uh, it's just an experience in itself. Forget about the, the ride that it's associated with. I love listening to Icon's soundtrack. Um, I love how it kind of starts off with kind of natural, kind of, you know, birds chirping and everything. And then you hear the ride's name, which is also used in the ride audio. Um, and then it, then it, then you, um, then the soundtrack really beats up, you know, bumps up. And um, I, I, whenever I uh, listen to it, I can always picture myself kind of, you know, outside the queue line, then making my way down, kind of in in time with the music. And then, well, and then getting on the ride and having this amazing experience. So yeah, there you go. Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Well, Icon soundtrack at uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So yeah. <laughs> at number six, then we have. The, um, the soundtrack to Colossus at Thorpe Park. Um, so Colossus, well, this, this soundtrack and um, really Colossus in general has a special place in my heart because it was, you know, it was the first, um, first roller coaster that I ever, um, that I ever went on. So yeah, that's why this soundtrack well, that's out of the way. That, that's why this soundtrack means a lot to me. What I love about it is just how kind of ex um, kind of mysterious it is. Um, I, I love, yeah, I love how how mysterious it is, um, and, I, and I love how it kind of builds up that atmosphere um, when you're waiting in the station and waiting to board. Um, and I also like the um, the fact that it sounds kind of very daunting, obviously mysterious and daunting because you know at the time when Colossus opened uh, back in 2002, um, yeah it would have been a quite a daunting ride, I mean going upside down 10 times, wow, that would have been a lot back then so yeah that's colossus or colossus's soundtrack uh at number six on this list at number five then one of two well one of four um i should say one of four uh, international uh, soundtracks on this list is um, Zadra's soundtrack uh, from Energylandia. 
Now, I love, well, I, I really like uh, this soundtrack because of just how, I just love how it sounds. Um, it's kind of like very, a very overture-y sort of um, coaster, very majestic as well. And um, I, I feel that, that that is a perfect match for the kind of overall um, look of of the coaster. Um, it doesn't look out of place. It just looks majestic, and it also, obviously, the trains look majestic when they're going when they're going through the different elements. But yeah, they. This ride, it just sounds so majestic, and um, I love that. Um, I love that. So, yeah, um, uh, that's Zadra at Energylandia at number five. At number four, then. Um, and this is actually one of the um, one of the latest um, soundtracks to come out, uh, which is the Blackpool Pleasure Beach 125 year um, celebration song. Obviously, this year being 2021, uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach is celebrating 100 and 25 years of operation um, which in itself is incredible the one thing they've also done is they've put together um, a soundtrack like a, a special song um, to go to go along with it and it's just an amazing um, it's just an amazing um, song to listen to uh, and right, um, the highlights for me are kind of the at, the, at the start, or near the start, they've got quotes from different people, like they've got a quote from Jeffrey Thompson, um, they've got a quote from Amanda Thompson, and also Doris Thompson, which is really, really nice um, to hear. Uh, obviously putting their input in from different kind of documentaries and things that they've done over the years but yeah it's just an amazing it's just an amazing listen um and i can't fault it at all so yeah you go and number four is the blackpool pleasure beach 125 song So at number three then, we have Taron at Fantasialand. Now Taron's soundtrack is a very amazing uh, listen. I love the way it kind of, how, how, can, I, how can I describe this? I like how it slowly builds up in its intensity, you know, it starts quite off you know with in t with intense music but then it stops and um, yeah and then it goes into the, the kind of graceful kind of sort of sunrisey sort of thing and um, I'm I'm looking forward to, um, to to hearing that in the Klugheim foot well I'm looking forward to possibly hearing that in the Klugheim area of Fantasialand that um, Taron is based in. If I ever do get out there, um, of course I I am going to be doing a vlog for for you, obviously. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love this soundtrack, and it's a and it's a I think it's a crime to me that I haven't you know I didn't listen to it earlier, you know like earlier in the, in the year. So, yeah, that's Taron's soundtrack at Fantasialand. 
So at number two then, we have uh, another soundtrack from a record-breaking ride. And of course, this is the Big One soundtrack from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, made by The Notable Stranger. This is such an impressive um, soundtrack. You know, and at, at the beginning, you know, giving you information about the ride, such as, you know, how, how tall it is, how many Gs you get. I think a, I think a particular highlight for me is the um, is the section where they're uh, you know they're going over the, the different going up in height you know from six to two hundred and thirty five feet. Um, so yeah, I guess the only thing up with this soundtrack is it can get a little bit too repetitive sometimes, but but yeah, um, that's about it. That's really my only complaint. Um, I love the kind of instrumental instruments used um, and yeah so there you go there's the black there's the big one soundtrack at Blackpool Pleasure Beach just before we get on to the number one spot I've got a few honorable mentions which I would which I would like uh, to share with you guys so the first honorable mention is Millennium Forces soundtrack at Cedar Point. Next up, uh, coming back here and going back to Alton Towers, it is the Smilers soundtrack. The next honorable mention, staying at Alton Towers, is Galactica's soundtrack. And our final honorable mention is Shambhala's uh, soundtrack at uh, Port Aventura World. So there you go, there are some honorable mentions for you. At number one then, top of the list, this is an absolute classic soundtrack for an absolutely classic ride. It is Nemesis, sit back, it's fright time at Alton Towers. Now I absolutely adore listening to this um, soundtrack. I don't know whether it's kind of the, the bombastic music or, you know, at the, at the start of it, whether it's the mysterious kind of music near the end or just the whole package. But if, if you ask me, Nemesis is a total grade A when it comes to theme park soundtracks. It matches the ride perfectly. It even matches the area of Forbidden Valley perfectly. Um, so yes, there is the number one, Nemesis at Alton Towers. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this first episode of Dave's Theme Park Fridays. Uh, I would like to say, what are your favorite soundtracks from parks? I would put them down in the comments below. I'd love to know. So anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please do leave me a thumbs up as it really does help me out. Write out a comment about anything that's happened in the video. And of course, I will get back to you. If you happen to be new, if you happen to be new around here, why not hit that red subscribe button and while you're at it, hit the, hit the bell icon so that you never ever miss when I upload a new video. So I just want to say thank you very, very, very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one, on the next video. Goodbye.